Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I'm going to decorate this week using my cute and sweet planner subscription box that I got a couple of weeks ago. This was the one for January. Um, all I've done here, you'll notice it doesn't look like it did when it came. All I've done is covered it in contact from Kmart so that it stores a little bit. I can store everything I got in the box, in the box. Um, then I know which one came in which month. Um, and just, it, it's just, I had the box, might as well cover it and make it look pretty and then you can use it to do whatever you like. So I'm just going to put that off to the side and I'll just reach into it when I need to grab something. So I'm just going to jump into my planner. Just get out what we need to get out. The same thing as last week sort of happening. I have a lot going on sport wise. Um, so I have already written everything out that I need to write out so that you guys don't have to wait for me to do it. So most of this stuff will get erased in just a second. What I'm going to start off with is the washi tape that came in this. I think I'm going to use, I know I did horizontal, yeah horizontal, um, last week. But I think I want to do horizontal again. What I might actually do is do, like use a couple of different types of this washi tape. So I'm going to start off with this beautiful blue at the top. Because it is a little bit thicker, it's actually going to cover the top nicely. So I'm just trying to peel this off. There we go. So this is a glossy type of washi tape. So I'm just going to pull off how much I need. A little bit more apparently, that much. Just grabbing my scissors. I'm just going to place this at the top. I can get it untwisted. I'm so worried about wasting any of this one because I know I can't get any more. So I'm, I'm really a little bit careful with this washi tape. So it's going to sit at the top. I'll cut it off in just a second. And then I think at the bottom, I actually think I'm going to put the, the other teal with the little crosses. I think I'm going to put that at the bottom and then I'm going to run the pink that's at the bottom there, that really thin one along the side. And I'm going to do that because I'm going to use one of the other decals that came with this that's pink. So I kind of want to make sure I've got plenty of pink in this already. Ooh. Oh, it's just a bit extra. That's right. I thought I'd cut and ruined it, but I haven't. It's all good. So just untwisting that and going to stick that one down. really like this tape with the crosses. I think it looks really cute. There we go. It's just a little bit of excess stuck there. I'll get it in a sec. And then I'm going to put the pink. Oh no! I can't. I taught it. Uh oh. It's alright. It's only a little bit. Don't panic me. This tape's a little bit. It's almost a little bit messy on the sides. I'm just hoping I have enough. Just hoping I have enough. So I'm just going to cut off the little bit at the bottom there so I know how much I'm working with. I actually kind of like the edge of this. It's not, it, it almost looks like it's been torn, which is really, really nice. It gives it a nice sort of texture that washi tape doesn't always have. Please don't tear, please don't tear. And just unrolling, there we go. So I'm going to put it, I wasn't going to put it over the holes, but I am going to put it over the holes. And then I'll just punch them out in a second. I just think it, it doesn't look right on the other side and it's going to get punched either way. I might just sort of leave it half on the holes and half not on the holes. So just sticking that down on either end. There we go. There we go. Rightio, so I'm just going to trim these edges up and punch those holes out and I'm going to do the other side and I'll be back in just a sec.
So that's what it looks like once I've put all the washi tape down. I actually really like that pink and I nearly ran out of it. You can see I've got a bit of a, a tear at the top and I've only got this teensy tiny little bit left. But I, I really like it. I like the, the torn sort of thing to it. So the next thing I'm going to do is rub out um, all this stuff that I don't need anymore. Um, whoops. I have already gone ahead and written all my footy details. So if you remember to when I actually showed you the box, this came like this. Good style is timeless. It's got just um, graph writing, which is really, really good to use when you're writing stuff out. So I've just done that out already so that it flips over. I have so much sport happening. So it's, it's good to have that all set out like that. So that's going to be, and then it's got the good style is timeless to kind of hide hide some of the details if I don't want to see them because let's face it sometimes sport can be overwhelming. So I'm going to go ahead and write in all the little details that I need to write in. The only thing I'm not going to write in, like I'll, I'll rub out all this stuff because I'm not going to any of, actually that's not true, I'm going to one of those games. I'm only going to leave in the games I'm going to, um, but they are duplicated over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of that and I'll be back in just a second. what it looks like once everything has been written in and rubbed out. Um, as you can see I have a flight on Sunday, well I don't know if you can see it, um, but I am flying to Mackay Saturday morning, Sunday morning and flying straight back again Sunday night um, for a, a work shift. So I've just got the details of what time both of my flights are, not what time they land, just what time I have to be on them. Um, so that that's there but I've got all of the rest of it in my planner, so like all the um, itinerary and everything are all in my planner ready to go. So then I'm going to put these here. So obviously they'll flip one way or the other. Now it's time to decorate. So what are we going to do? I first of all I want to use, I really want to use this typewriter. I'm going to put that down there. I know that means I have two flippers and I did kind of consider sticking this on the back but nothing I sort of tried looked right so I thought I'd rather have too many flippers then not use that this week. So I'm going to use that there. And then I'm going to grab some of these gorgeous page flags from the Reset Girl. I haven't used any of these yet. And I think I'm kind of going to bring some brown into... Oh, uh, am I? I don't know. Kind of... I want to put a flag on, but I don't know where I want to put it. I'm also going to use some of these stickers. Oh, do I want to use those stickers? It's really hard. It's really hard. So I'm trying to only use stuff from this box. So I'm trying to not sort of go looking for other things to put on here. It's just trying to make it all come together that's a bit harder. So I'm just taking this out of its plastic. I think I will use some brown. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this paper clip. I'm going to put that at the top there. That'll stick out the top of my planner so that'll look fine. And I'm just going to put near some of these page flags. I'm just going to put this down the side here. I'll stick it down properly with glue tape in just a second. Just to see where it looks good first. I kind of want to put that there. And I don't know why I do. I just think it looks cool. I think I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to grab a green one on the other side just to sort of tie the two sides together. Put that one there. So I'll stick that down with tape in just a second. I really like that paper clip. I like to, I'm trying to bring in some more sort of three dimensional stuff. I know I tend to leave it just laying flat, which was like what the other week when I used the bow, that's sort of the thinking behind it, trying to just add some dimension to some of my pages. So I'm just going to stick this down just with some glue tape 
not being too worried about getting it perfectly stuck. Just going to put that there. I'm going to put the brown one on the other side. I'm just going to grab a couple of these stickers. So I'm going to grab the flower. I'm going to put that flower hanging up there. I've got to remember that this will sit that side just as often as it'll sit the other side. So that kind of takes up that space. Where's that? There you go. And I'm going to put another flower just there. And I'm just going to put these shoes just there with the flag. Why is it missing something? I think I'm actually going to leave that just like that. I've, I like the way that's sort of come together with the, the flags. I think that's actually worked really nicely. I don't need to put anything on the top. Just having a quick... Actually, one more thing I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this wood... Um, bookmark. I'm going to put this on the other side. Maybe slightly overdoing it now, but I actually want to stick that there. Like, actually stick it. I don't want it to be sitting. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab just a little bit of glue tape. This is removable if I want to, so it's not the worst thing in the world. And I'm just going to put that just there. It just brings a little bit extra dimension to it, which I really like. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to fiddle anymore, I don't think. Just making sure there's nothing else in the box that I want to use. No, that's it. I'm going to leave it just like that. If you guys want to see um, everything that I got in this box, I will link the video down below. I have just gotten another one, so I will be doing another video um, of my unboxing of that one very, very soon. So stay tuned for that, and then I'll use that as another, um, as another decorating week um, in a few weeks' time. If you did like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like this box I will link it down below so you can get on it it is a reasonably inexpensive way to get a bit of planner goodies the only problem with it is you never know what you're gonna get I think that's an actual upside to it some people like to know what they're gonna get depends which side of the fence you sit on but for what I got for it, I think I've, I've I really have not used it to its full potential but I think that actually looks really good for what I got if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. If you want to leave me a comment, let me know if you've got this box, how you use it, how you would have done something differently here. You can leave me a comment down below or you can find me on any of my social medias which are also linked down below. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome week and I will see you again really, really soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.